plural marriage isn't all beer and Skittles. You know, it's, it's, it's not for men. I mean, there's a different burden that I don't want to sit here and mansplain to you. As season 17 starts wrapping up, coming to a close, the things that Cody has not been able to control are really starting to take a toll on him and make him lose his shit. We have gotten a couple of trailers put out for this upcoming episode of Sister Wives, and Cody is not well. Cody is not interested in co-parenting with Christine whatsoever, and Janelle's friendship with Christine, combine that with Janelle's kids' audacity to vocalize their disgust with their father, is making Cody come completely unhinged. And to top it all off, COVID had the audacity to take up residence in the McMansion. And I mean, Cody's other family members aren't even welcome there. So this is just completely unacceptable. We have a lot to discuss today. Let's jump into today's video. Hey everyone, what's up? It's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. At this point in season 17, Christine has been gone for about a month. And not only is Cody completely unwilling to attempt any sort of amicable co-parenting with Christine, he has seemingly channeled all of his frustration and rage towards Janelle because she is, of course, a wife that is still present to take his verbal lashes. This realignment of the status quo, to put it mildly, is not going well. And the reason why things are not going well is because Cody has the self-awareness and emotional fortitude of a toddler. Any perceived slight or inability to control the narrative causes Cody to lash out in tantrums. It really is absurd to watch Cody melt down over the discontent in his family the way a toddler would when they were just told they couldn't have kept up for dinner. The remaining wives gather in this upcoming episode a couple of times because they have a bunch of stuff to discuss. They have to discuss Janelle's plans for what she wants to build and they have to discuss what's going to happen with the upcoming holidays. Let's take a look and see just how well this didn't go. And I've told him several times I feel like he's lining up all women and I'm there too and you're there and you're there and he's shooting us all down because Christine is a woman and he's angry and he's hurt. And I've seen men leave plural marriage feeling like, you know, five, six wives, never feeling like they had been loved. I, man, I'm having the hardest time not just feeling like she's just betraying me. I'm not saying that they have to have actually apologize to me. And I corrected that many times already. But you told them all so that until they apologize, they can't. Well, that's what you told me. That, yeah. That's what you told me. You said until they show respect and apologize. Christine said that Isabel and everybody are coming home and they want to come see the family here. Oh man, this is exactly what I was afraid of with Christine leaving. Okay, am I the only one that sees this as some kind of betrayal? Christine just left. You don't want her to bring the kids to see you? Oh, I'd like to see the kids. But you're talking about everybody going to some neutral zone? This is my house. You guys are gonna have to weigh in on this. I'm not gonna shoulder this whole damn thing. Like, I, I can't identify what it is specifically about it bothering me. I was like, is this bothering you guys? What do you want us to comment on? You know what, everybody put this on me. This is the same old, same old. Ugh, I cannot believe. So Robin is upset, seemingly with Christine, for making Cody the president of the He-Man Woman Haters Club. Member in good standing of the He-Man Woman Haters Club, do solemnly swear to be a He-Man and hate women and not play with them or talk to them unless I have to, and especially never fall in love. Cody is behaving like some sort of middle schooler or high schooler that just got dumped out of the blue. All women suck to Cody and Robin is kind of right here when she says coat this is a different situation because cody has three other wives still technically but seriously what logical 50 year old gets a divorce and acts like this 
Christine was in a loveless marriage for decades and she isn't attributing Cody's characteristics to all men. All of Cody's remaining wives are divorcees technically and they gave love another shot with Cody. I'm not really sure how to categorize Mary here, but you get what I mean. So Cody is walking back his previous assertion that the boys need to apologize to he and Robin in order to be welcomed into the McMansion. This, of course, is just a technicality. They don't literally need to say the words, I'm sorry, but the sentiment of groveling is still very much expected. So apparently Janelle and Christine are getting some sort of vacation rental or an Airbnb so that all of the family can gather for Christmas. Christine is going to be coming into town and Janelle needs a bigger place to host all of her kids. This really is an ideal solution on many levels. First off, for the most part, Janelle and Christine's kids all get along really well. And it's an easy way for everyone to gather in one place. And probably the most important thing, which Cody says is a negative, is that it is neutral territory. None of the kids that live outside of Robin's house like going over to the McMansion. Truly doesn't even want to spend the night there. As a matter of fact, viewers have wondered many times why Cody doesn't just visit with Truly at Janelle's house since Truly seems like she actually likes going over there. But in a very immature meltdown, Cody declares he is not interested on meeting anyone on neutral territory and this move really baffles Janelle. If family members want to be around him, they have to come over to the McMansion. This is very telling for a couple reasons. First, it really solidifies that Cody considers Robin's house to be his house. In theory, he should consider any of his wives' homes to be his home, and he should be equally comfortable at each one. The second thing this really solidifies is Cody's need to exert control. Logically, spending the holiday in a neutral place away from Robin's floor watermelons and large amethyst crystals in a place where the entire family feels comfortable makes sense. But you know, Christine might get a wild hair to talk all that independent woman talk. And Garrison might spout off about what a shit father he thinks Cody is. And Cody just can't risk that. I think we all have known dudes that have acted in this super alpha male type behavior. And it doesn't seem to really matter where they are. They typically always act like that. It's obnoxious for sure, but I actually find it quite comical that the only place Cody feels like he can be a macho man is at the McMansion. I've actually mentioned this in my last couple of videos, but I think it's really obvious based off of these teasers that Cody really is laying the foundation to push Janelle out in the same way that he pushed Christine out. He's even using the same verbiage. Cody said that Christine murdered their intimacy with betrayal. And the betrayal that he was talking about there was Christine talking to other family members about her marriage troubles with Cody. Now he is saying that he is feeling betrayed by Janelle. Janelle is betraying Cody by remaining friends with Christine and seemingly taking her boy's side over Cody's side when it comes to the tension between them. I actually think that Janelle has remained frustratingly neutral when it comes to the tension between her boys and Cody. I would have told Cody all the way off by now if I were Janelle. I'm not going to lie. It actually is a little surprising to me how completely unhinged Cody has allowed himself to become and appear on camera this season. He seems to have completely lost the ability to control his emotions. One of the things I've appreciated about this season is that it seems like all the family members, for the most part, 
are becoming more transparent. Most of them are talking about what the real status quo is like in the family. The only one who still seems to be trying to portray this denial is Robin. No one except for Robin are mincing any words anymore about Robin being the favorite. Cody is not masking his desire and his demands for blind loyalty and compliance. He no longer values independence in his wives. Cody can't really mask anything anymore and his discontent, it would seem, leads to these outbursts and tantrums. And it's just really a sight to see a 50-year-old man wailing about throwing a tantrum like a little child. Let me know your thoughts on these teaser clips that were put out. I will link the full articles that they came from down in the description of this video. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Reality Squad, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care. Have a good one. Much love.